Okay, so yes, good evening. Um, I've, I've struggled not to sleep uh, tonight, so I haven't slept, um, you know, and um, yeah, it's quite late here, uh, but I, did, I didn't sleep. I've had a, a challenging day, but nonetheless, we are here. And uh, we will continue until when God will call us. We will continue. So some of you who look forward to know, Tayari, you should just stop talking. You should just stop talking. Hey, the enemy is your mouth. Hey, if you just stop talking. No, I can't stop talking. This is the... Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the gift that God has given me. It's a gift that God has given me to speak. And I don't just speak. I speak for issues affecting uh, many people, especially the poor. Those are the people that uh, I speak for. And tonight, I am talking about the judiciary. Uh, in relation to, you know, the things that have been happening, particularly of high interest is the issue of... Uh, Edgar Chagwalungu, the eligibility issue, uh, the, the members of the nine members of parliament who were, um, uh, whose seats were declared vacant, uh, the PF uh, Rangos, okay, uh, induced by the UPND. Those are the things that I'm talking about. And, um, and I'm, I'm talking about that in relation to uh, the judiciary. Now I want to stay from I want to state from the onset that look what I what I'm talking about here it's not about Edgar Lungo because many of you you like to trivialize uh, important issues uh, by bringing in uh, uh, this narrative like you know it is about Edgar Lungo it's about you being paid by Edgar Lungo uh, and so on and so forth but uh, you leave out the substance. You want to divert the attention from the main issue to bring in uh, trivial issues, which in most cases are not even true, but you don't care. And you even know, but you don't care. All you want is to divert the attention. I understand it's politics and the, I am doing politics. The only problem we, you have is that uh, for me, when I do politics and it hits you, instead of responding politically, you call the police on me. That is the problem that you have. So anyway, the issue is that this is not about Edgar Lungo. This is about justice. I'm talking about justice. I'm talking about, uh, you know, fairness. I'm talking about uh, the integrity of our judiciary and independence of course these are the things that i'm talking about eh? i want to emphasize this that i'm not talking yes the ed galungu issue is just a point of reference but the my my agenda or my object of this presentation is number one that i'm crying for justice I am a voice in the wilderness crying for justice for our people in Zambia. For our people in Zambia, including myself, as well as Edgar Lungu and everybody else. Number two, so number two, uh, number two, I am talking about fairness. We need to be fair. We need to be fair with each other. Eh? We need to be fair with each other. Number three, our our judiciary must have some must have integrity our judiciary must have integrity and then it must be independent for it to be to to dispense justice for it to be fair for it to uh for it to to have integrity it must be independent free from undue influence Free from undue influence. That's the only way. Otherwise, if there is the if if some people who are in government 
are there pushing agenda, pushing the agenda for the judiciary, for the judiciary. I mean, they can never dispense justice. So that is uh, my issue. It's not about Ed Galungu. I'm not here to uh, to speak on behalf of Ed Galungu. No, I'm here to speak for all of us, including myself. I am here because there is no justice in our country. That's why I'm here. I am going through a lot of challenges, a lot of challenges. Some of the challenges that I go through, one day when I'll be able to, to explain to them that, no, on such a day, this is what happened, on such a day, this is what happened, you'll be shocked. For now, I hold back uh, these issues, but really, I go through a, through a, number, of, uh, a number of challenges. So, that is what I'm talking about. So, please let us not think that I'm just talking about Ed Galungu. Ed Galungu is just one individual among so many people, more than 20 million people we have in our country. So, I think it would be folly of me to just, uh, you know, focus on one person. No, I don't want to focus on one person. I don't want to focus on one person. This is something that I've always refused, uh, you know, to, uh, to align myself with just this one person and no, 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 no. I don't think it's, it's right. Me, I want to look at uh, a holistic point, uh, a holistic view. I want to look at everybody else. I want to look at everybody else. And this is why sometimes I differ even with uh, those that you think that uh, I am supporting. Uh, President Ed Galungu, I mean, you know that it's not all the time that I agree with him. Uh, sometimes he, I, 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 I defy uh, his line of uh, line of uh, line of, of thought because I'm an independent thinker. I also have my own judgment. I also have my own way of looking at things. So it is not about Ed Galungu. I emphasize that. Now we want to. Why I'm talking about this is also that you know we want a situation in our country where. We can have differences. We can even play Mingalata from the political point of view. But we must be able to have confidence in our courts that no matter what differences we may have between or among us, at least we will be able to go to court and we will receive justice. This is what I am emphasizing. Judges, it's not about me defaming you. It's not about me being a, a, a nuisance. No. The job that you have is very important in our democracy. Because in our democracy and society as well. Look, we may have our differences, which could be, you know, at the family level, they could be at a social level, they could be in politics, they could be in business. At the end of the day, when we have these challenges, these disputes, we should be able to go before a judge. And the judge will not look at, will not look at who is before, uh, uh, before, before it, meaning her or him. That's why the lady, you know, if you look at, uh, I don't know if you have paid attention, uh, that lady that is uh, that symbolizes justice has got a, a blind whatever uh, has been blindfolded because justice has no eyes but we have a situation where you know people who are connected people who are powerful are the ones that are controlling the just the, uh, our justice system this is a this is a fact this is a fact and I know some of you have been making this argument to say, ah, no, but Edgar Lungu also did this. Edgar Lungu threatened judges. That as it may be, that as it may be, should we continue? Should we continue? If Edgar Lungu uh, uh, tinkered around uh, the justice system, should we also continue? Should Waka and Echilema continue? No, it shouldn't. It has to stop. It has to stop. So you cannot say, no, because Ed Galungu did this, because Ed Galungu did this. I mean, much as that may be, the fact is that we have to do better. We have to do better. 
you can't go and open a case. In this case, I'm talking about this eligibility case. You can't go and open a case that, that, is, that was closed. The eligibility case is closed. Is closed. Closed, closed, finish. Whether Edgar Lungu, you know, uh, influence judges, whether, whatever, whatever, at the end of the day, the, the court court, which is a court of, uh, uh, of, of, of finality, a road, and that's it. So why are we reopening? Why are we reopening? We can't all pretend here to say, no, eh, whatever, 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 to my little arguments that you're making. The judgment was very clear. It considered all those to my issues that you're bringing up. But why are we going back to open those cases? Why? Why is the court, court going back on the same, on the same case that they, that, that they made? And they pronounce themselves, but they go back to say, no, we want to hear it again. What is that? I have been reading and I've been consulting, I've been talking to different people. And, you know, people of uh, authorities in the, in the judiciary are actually surprised that the Corn Court wants to go back to uh, a case that they already, uh, you know, judged upon. I, I can't, unfortunately, I can't mention names, but I'm telling you that I have been speaking to different people on this, and no one, these are authorities that I'm talking about, they are all saying what the Corn Court has done is wrong. They are saying it. Some of them, judges, senior judges, you know, I don't want to mention if I, because if I say Chief Justice, you know, there are very few chief justices, especially that, you know, one just died. You know, you start speculating to say it's this one, it's this one. But basically what I can tell you is that I have spoken to senior, senior uh, uh, judges and they have expressed. Uh, I've actually received some documentation which I, will, I couldn't uh, read much this afternoon uh, today because of the casualty situation that I had. But I think tomorrow and Monday especially. Oh, Monday I'll be I'll be I'll be I'll be traveling. Monday I'll be traveling. But I will I'll be unpacking some of these these authorities that people have brought. Now, if 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 the authorities in the judiciary are saying no, this is wrong. I mean, certainly our judges ought to know this. The problem which we have is that. They are too scared. Our judges are too scared. They, you know, there is, there, is, there is this schism in our judiciary. There is this polarization eh, whereby some are being perceived. Yeah. You know, I, I, was, I was sick for the, for the last few days and I took some medicine, but seems like it's coming back but she can covid d i don't know how come now i feel it I haven't been very, very, very well these these past few days, but I don't want you to go to start telling my mother, hey, tari na luala. No, 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 no. I don't want I don't want you to worry my mother. I'm okay. As you can see, I'm here, I'm talking. So eh, because some of you, yes, I, I, I appreciate you who go and uh, you know talk to my mother about me. I appreciate. But please, when you give them inform when you give her information, give her information with some considerations and please don't go and start taking pictures of my mother why are you taking pictures of my mother eh? she complained i want to tell you those of you who are going to see my mother and you're taking pictures she just that she's she can't tell you but she complained she didn't like it there's somebody who went there and was taking pictures take pictures pictures my mother was not pleased with it uh you know somebody who went there you who went there taking pictures, my mother was not pleased about it. Uh, she, my mother is not like me who likes taking pictures and whatever, whatever. 
So she was like, ah, I don't to my pictures. I don't to my pictures. So please, when you go and see my mother, I appreciate you visiting my mother. But please, when you go there, I mean, yeah, greet her uh, for me. Give her the right messages. But don't get too excited and taking pictures. My mother is a private person. She's not a celebrity, yo. So anyway, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm feeling whatever, but I've, uh, COVID has started. Yeah? So you, you need to watch up. You need to watch out. Even around here, COVID has started. And, the, you know, living in a hotel is very dangerous because you have so many people going in and out, going in and out. So the past few days I've been taking medication, but yesterday, today, I felt better. But it's just that, I mean, now, I don't know, maybe it's the aircon. Yeah. Anyway, so, so the, 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 so the, the, the point is that uh, we want to have a situation where we can have confidence in our judiciary. That if I, have a, if I have a dispute, if I have a dispute, or if I have whatever issue, when I go to court, at least I will receive justice. At least the judge will be fair. At least the judge will not be influenced by anything other than the evidence before that judge. At the moment, it is not happening. At the moment, the, the executive are so heavy-handed on the judiciary. So heavy-handed on the judicial. The issue of the, the issue of eligibility. Mingala toshava UPND. Mingala toshava UPND. Nothing else. Nothing else. Mingala toshava UPND. Mingala toshava HH. Is scared of President Edgar Chagwalungu. He wants to bar Edgar Chagwalungu. But surely, my brothers and sisters, this is not the right way of playing politics. We should not be you know, uh, disenfranchising our opponents so that we can secure a victory in politics. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Let a man contest and let people, let's campaign, you know, campaign against that person, campaign for yourself such that people can win, can, 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 can have confidence in you and vote for you. It is very easy. And President H.H., uh, has an upper hand. He is the incumbent. Everything is at his disposal. It's easy for him to campaign. It's easy for him to woo people on his side. So, all he has to do is to address those issues. And from my point of view, I know that uh, uh, things sometimes from, uh, from afar, they look simple. But I really think that uh, Zambians are not very difficult. Zambians are not very difficult. If you look at uh, issues that uh, you need to tackle to sort out uh, uh, Zambians' uh, uh, political, political uh, direction, it's, it's very easy. It's very easy, especially for the incumbent. So why not just address those issues? Why not just address the issues of load shedding? Why not just address the issues of prices, the issues of fuel, the issues of jobs and whatever? That's it. That need to focus on it. Edgar Changwalungu, you know, investing in barring Edgar Changwalungu. That is not right. So this is coming from UPND. This is coming from President Haka Inde But that is okay. Haka Inde Ichinema maybe can play those politics. Fine. But w when we go before the court, there shouldn't be politics there. They shouldn't be Mingalato. They shouldn't be Mingalato. People are Oh Lord, unfortunately, I don't think I, I can manage. Ish. Um, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. To Ambokland, the question of Mdala, Vapu is. But now, of course, I feel I've never job by them. I don't know but no, he should resign. He should resign. But now, of course, I've now, of course, I've oh Lord, away. Let me go and sleep. 
let me go and sleep. Uh, I'm calling that difficult. I think let me go and let me go and sleep. I'm sorry. I have to stop. Let me go and let me go and sleep. But it's not bad. Let me just go and sleep. I think I, if I sleep, I'll, I'll, I'll feel better. Sorry, I have to go.